morning. My name is Milton Berglund. I uh, live in Hyannis. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the victors in the most recent election. Several of you were supportive of the effort with the Stewart uh, Creek uh, sewer extension, and I'm glad to see you uh, re-elected again and expect uh, good things from you in the future. I appreciate the entire support of the Council on the Stewart Creek Stewart Extension. We've overcome several hurdles, and I urge that we go on, complete the project, and with a five-year look back, I think we'll all say we've done the right thing. There are some lessons learned, I think, and I've been reflecting on them while I've been away. I think we've all been a little bit surprised at the acrimony that was surrounding the four or five months that this has been debated in the town. We seem to have forgotten how to disagree without being disagreeable. There is one particular issue that I have given some thought to, and that is this issue of the betterments at 100 percent, the current policy. And I think there is a gathering consensus that this is not a workable solution going forward, and we are aware that the Financial Advisory Commission is working on some alternatives. But I invite you to consider one that I've given some thought to, given my background in investment banking, and that is the value of setting up an independent sewer authority, properly capitalized, let's say in the range of 10 to 15 million dollars, with capacity to issue 30-year revenue bonds, and with an initial leverage of something on the order of two and a half to three times, you would be able to include, I hope, other communities on Cape Cod in that sewer authority. And with the bonding capacity, revenue bonds, I think we would be able, through that method, to get the betterments into a more reasonable 30 to 40 percent range. Installing the system gradually in sensitive coastal areas with dense population and considering alternative systems elsewhere. It's really a self-help project. I don't think we can expect off-cape funding anytime soon, and it's an illusion to think that we'll have it in the next four to five years. If we want to go forward with wastewater management in the town of Barnstable and in other parts of Cape Cod, I think an independent sewer authority is worthy of your consideration. The second lesson is how to improve communications with the public on controversial issues like this. We really need to frame the issue properly and not let poor information spread fear in the voting public with an irrational fear of losing homes. Leadership requires good communication and I think we have some work to do as we go forward on future projects like this. Thank you very much.